fire has been devastating and we've definitely seen a major impact to our equipment. Uh, again, we are in the process of assessing specifically what that impact is, but we do know that it is significant. EG&E says more than 7,200 customers have lost power as a result of the Valley Fire. Well, some people evacuated from their homes still have no idea what they'll return to. Katie's Mike Meback found one woman near Cobb who left her home in a hurry on Saturday and has been, ban has been back to see that nothing is left. Here's her conversation with Mike on what they saw. Where these uh, pier blocks are, this was the beginning of the steps went up this way. Door goes in that way, living room, kitchen, dining room, bathroom, and two bedrooms in the back. You were in there two days ago? Mm-hmm. Living there? Yeah. Yes. And now that you see it? It's things. Those are one or two things that we're looking at right now that you wish you did have that you don't? Um, this, the remnants of my Singer sewing machine is an antique. Um, in this corner of the house, I had a box of photographs that were hanging in the hallway of my children, my grandparents, my wedding pictures. It's kind of crazy when you look at it. And you'll rebuild. Yeah, right maybe not right here, but somewhere for sure. We'll see what happens. I hate seeing it, but I love seeing you and your family alive. Yeah, picking things up. That's what we're going to be doing now. The Valley Fire has led to an outpour of support from people here in the Bay Area. And Case News' Maureen Naylor now with the unique ways they're offering their assistance, including the touching story of what a pregnant woman did to help. And we'll be together a second. At Sift Cupcakes, a dessert bar in San Francisco, customers aren't just handing over money for macaroons. Our phones have been ringing all day. The family-run chain, based in Santa Rosa, is opening their display case and their doors to accept small, non-perishable donations for the fire victims at its five locations. It's basically our family up there. It's our neighbors, it's our home, our Napa, Santa Rosa, Petaluma, Katati. So we're all up there in the North Bay, and we're so, it's too close to home. So we'd like to be there for relief. The sweet shop's popular red velvet cupcakes are taking a back seat to a sweet gesture this morning by one customer in Santa Rosa. She was a pregnant woman. She came in this morning with all of her baby shower gifts bundled together and just said, you know, this was from my shower last weekend and they need this more than we do at this time so she was willing to give all of that away you can see here the woman literally donated a sign of love along with stuffed animals books and children's clothes and she's not alone AAA's Napa office last night dropped off 50 blue sleeping bags to the Red Cross in Calistoga and plans to donate more than 1,100 blankets and 750 flashlights tomorrow. The American Red Cross says people all over are being moved to take action. Oh my gosh, a we're receiving a lot of calls all day long um, through all our locations at the Red Cross, um, even nationally. The Red Cross says with an abundance of items, the best way to help is with money. So at this point, we're really looking at financial donations so people can go on redcross.org um, they can text to donate um, and that way we can purchase things specifically what for what our clients need Wells Fargo is helping with that in addition to a $100,000 donation to the Red Cross the company says its customers will be able to donate at its 3300 ATMs in California and at each donation site today we heard a similar sentiment it's been a fairly reactive reactive community which is amazing to see it's, it's times like this that really bring us together as a city. I also spoke with one woman who runs a daycare in Concord and is collecting donations there. She says people are driving from as far as San Jose and Monterey just to contribute. In Milpitas, Maureen Naylor, KTVU, Fox 2 News. 